Okay guys, we get a lot of questions about the containers, how they work, how we make meals out of them. A lot of people kind of overcomplicate it. So I wanted to show you the containers, what they look like, how we use them and how we make a meal. Um, each container corresponds to a certain food group, obviously. So we've got our vegetables, our fruits, our proteins, our carbs, um, healthy fats, healthy fats, and healthy fats. Now this goes to like cheeses and nuts, this is seeds and dressings, and then this is like your healthy oils and nut butters. So um, depending on what calorie bracket you're in, you'll have so many containers per bracket. What that's doing is combining, um, it's doing your macros to fit appropriately in your calorie bracket, which is the most effective way to burn fat. So instead of you having to count grams of macros and count calories, you simply just use the containers that you're allotted per day and make your meals out of them. You have complete freedom over how you do them. Um, the only thing I recommend is never eat a carb alone, ever, 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 which fruit is considered a carb because it's got natural sugars. So you always wanna pair it with a protein or a healthy fat that has protein as well, like your cheeses and um, your nut butters will have protein as well. And the reason for that is um, carbs will spike your blood sugar. And when you spike your blood sugar, your insulin will um, release a lot and it will encapsulate that extra blood or extra sugar that's in your blood and it will store it immediately as fat. So when you eat it with a protein, it reduces that sugar spike so you don't get a huge insulin dump. So that's my tip. Besides that, you have complete freedom over how you eat them. So I'm gonna show you I just worked out and I'm gonna make my breakfast and I'm gonna show you how you would do this and how you would count it. So, you measure out your food. I like tomatoes for breakfast um, and then I have my berries and then I have my Greek yogurt and then I have um, my toast, which would count as a yellow. Obviously, you don't have to stuff the piece of toast in the yellow. It will tell you certain things that don't have to be measured. So, one piece of whole, whole wheat bread will count as one yellow. And then I have my peanut butter that I'm gonna put on my toast. So this is how I will make a meal. Um, you simply measure it out and then you dump it all together. So don't get stuck thinking that you have to eat out of the containers, you do not. You just have to measure them out and then you know how to count them and then you put it together. So I'm going to throw it into the dish and I'm gonna show you how that makes a meal. Okay, so now I think I can do the rest one-handed. So I wanted to show you kind of how it works. So I dumped out the, the yogurt there it is, and this bowl is pretty big. Like, it's kind of deceiving. These containers look teeny. I promise you, they're they're not. It's a lot of food. So, I dumped out my yogurt. I'm now gonna add my fruit to it, which you wait and see how much fruit that is. Um, and then I've got my peanut butter on my toast, and then I have my tomatoes on the side. I could add them into my dish, but obviously I don't, I don't want my tomatoes in my yogurt. So that is how I made my breakfast. And now how I would chart that is I used one protein, I used a fruit, or so I used a protein which is a red, a fruit which is a purple, one green, one yellow for my toast, and then one teaspoon. Um, you're allotted so many containers per day, so in my bracket that I'm in, I get three vegetables per day, so I had one for the day, I have two remaining. I get two fruits, I've used one, so I have one remaining. I get four proteins, so I have three remaining, and I get two carbs, so I have one carb for the day, and then I still have my healthy fats of cheeses or avocado or nuts, and then I still have a dressing. So what I would do for the rest of the day, typically how I eat, is I will use my last carb at lunch, because I feel better when I have carbs earlier in the day. I don't like to eat them at dinner, but you totally can. But I'll have something like a sandwich or a wrap. So that would use a yellow. I would also use a red for the meat for my sandwich or the wrap. I would then have my fruit if I had, didn't have fruit in my shake. So my Shakeology, I put a half a banana in usually. Um, and so that would count as my other fruit. So if I had my fruit in my shake, I wouldn't have any fruits left for lunch, which is fine. Um, and then I would always have a vegetable at lunch and then I would have another vegetable at dinner. And I try and do like one salad a day. So that's how I get my dressing in. And then my avocado can either go on my sandwich at lunch or it can go with my dressing at dinner. Um, on my salad and then I'll usually just barbecue some sort of meat so either I barbecue meat and vegetables and have a salad at lunch or do a salad at dinner um, and a, a meat so I hope that kind of helps you guys um, and also I would have one more healthy 
teaspoon of peanut butter. I usually will just put that in my shake as well because I like peanut butter and banana in my shake. So my shake would count as my other um, protein for the day and that's how I get my containers in. Now, depending on your bracket, you may have more containers. So you just figure out how you wanna divvy it up throughout the day. But that, that is how we use the containers. Super simple, no measuring, no counting, no weighing. I don't have to keep track of calories. I don't have to keep track of my macros. This does it all for us. So if you're following the container system, you'll fall into the proper calorie bracket and the proper macro bracket. bracket. So let us know if you have any questions. We hope this helps you. We have loved these. Um, it teaches you how to eyeball your portions. So when you go to restaurants, you'll be able to roughly see how much you should be eating, which is super fantastic. So it doesn't take too long to figure that out. Um, we hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions. We would love to answer them. Okay, we will talk to you guys later. Bye.